Welcome back. This is a side mission called Dead Coast. It is one of my favorites. Let's take a look at what it's all about. This better be worth my it's time. It's a COVID mission. I think it is. Look, you know I'm plugged in with all sorts of people who sell all sorts of stuff, point. right? Smugglers, gunrunners, thieves. And freedom fighters. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Oh, wait, that if was... I told you, an old show sure. just reactivated itself to try to steal some Russian nuclear waste. Pretty bomb components. Okay. I don't know what got them started, but I know that they're moving, and they're moving fast. Okay, why are you telling me this? Dirty bombs scare me. They're bad for business. Okay. You know what, Cohen? I think that's the first <coughs> honest thing you've told me. So, here's the situation. These missions have two stages, two areas. In position. Roger that. Surveillance shows no traffic and, uh, the last six hours, which means a hostile... The goal is to take everybody so down. take down on this one? Confirmed. Use the okay. freedom at your discretion, but try not to be seen. They might have heavy rain. Yeah. If you noticed... Uh, anywhere from 13 to 15 reinforcements will, will, uh, show up. And you don't want that. Because if you clear both areas without any reinforcements, it's worth 6,000 points. That's the main reason you don't want to do that. But, uh, also... Those guys will blast you to pieces. So, <laughs> yeah, both things are undesirable. Now, I have kind of named these guys. That guy I just tucked down was out front guy. This guy, I think I called him second guy. <clears throat> He will wander over there, then he'll come back and he'll go digging in the dirt over there. Again, these guys and their dirt digging, I don't understand it. But this guy here, he goes back and forth from clear over there where that sniper is. I call him Stair Guy. Um, you may be able to imagine why. He is one of the easier ones to take down. Especially if he's over there. It takes him a while to get there. But once he does, it's really easy to do a drop attack on him. So that takes care of him. Now, Stair Guy is going to be gone by now. Yeah, there he goes. So, I just go around this upper rim here. And this guy, I call him Easy Guy. And you'll see why. Once I get inside there, which I can't do until he moves away from there. But once he does, you'll see why I call him Easy Guy. <clears throat> Come on. You can do it. Put one foot in front of the other. There we go. All right. All you have to do is hunker down right here and wait for him to come back and stand in that spot again. It's easy. I can't think of another word for it. So we will sit here and wait for him to come back. <clears throat> in the meantime, I'm eating some pizza. He goes, pardon me. He goes to each of those windows, then he comes back and stands over here with his back turned. And quick as he does that, as he's about to do now, as I say, quick as he does that, we can do this. <laughs> The next guy over here is Sniper Guy. But, you have to be careful about him. 
because there's another guy who comes out of that doorway over there, walks over here about equal, even with that anti-aircraft gun, and then goes back. I call him upstairs guy. And you have to time your take down a sniper guy with the movements of upstairs guy. Now, right now, he doesn't appear to be anywhere to be seen. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the chance. Oh, there he comes. That's him right there. So, I'm going to take him over here. And even though there isn't a bin, I'm going to hide him in the shadows. Just so upstairs guy doesn't see him. And raise any alarms. Because, yeah, that's not good for the game. <clears throat> so here he comes. He'll walk over here. The good part is he doesn't notice that Sniper Guy has gone and his rifle is just sitting there. He just kind of there. Now, usually, I wait for him to go back in here. He goes inside here and putters around for a while. While he does that, I hide here. Because then he comes out and he stands right here. And I can take him down from behind that way. But, you know what? We are nothing if not flexible. Stair guy is over on the stairs, but I'll never get there in time. So I'm not even going to try. Now, I call him yard guy. Because he kind of hangs out down there and he wanders over here with stair guy. And that guy right there, he's computer guy. We'll see why in just a moment. Okay. These two are standing there together. Let's use a sticky camera on them just because I haven't used one yet. One, two. All right. Let's go find out why I call that other guy computer guy. I call him computer guy because he hangs out in here. Train timetables, tech specs on detonators. What else you need? Gotcha. All right. So now I have three left. They're heavy duty. Heavy duty's pal. That's him right there. And back and forth guy because well you'll see why in just a moment <clears throat> right now those two are talking and that's back and forth guy right there off to the right I can't maybe I can I have not tried that before so uh, it gets tricky gauging the reach of this stun gun <clears throat> because every so often it'll try to indicate to me that it couldn't shoot far enough and I don't always believe it. Okay, I'm not sure what that was about but there's a, a sheltered area in the corner over there. He's going to go over there and dig in the dirt. Heavy Duty is going to go in there, which is going to give me the opportunity to do this. The easy way to take those guys is from up here. And by the way, there's also a dead drop here. Grim, I found a memory stick. So, Might be something uh, interesting on that. Heavy Duty comes out. Happy to look at it. There comes his buddy. And they're going to go over there and talk again. These engineers spend a lot of time standing around talking. Although I'm not sure these guys are engineers. I think these guys are just some kind of generic terrorists. <clears throat> but 
whatever the case, they do spend a lot of time standing around talking. So, and out he goes, and that just leaves Heavy D. Come on. Where did he go? Where did he go? Yeah, he went, he go right there. All right. And so, down he went. All right. That takes care of that area. Yeah. DFA stands for death from above. Uh, you get credit for it whether you death them or just knock them out. So, this next area is considerably trickier. Oh, yeah. It frequently gives me grief. Which is one of the reasons I like it, because it's challenging. And uh, we will also see why this level is called Dead Coast. Because, yeah. Well, you'll see. All right. We come out here. We go over here and jump over the box. I haven't named all of these guys. But <clears throat> there's two guys out front here. They <clears throat> they generally follow one of two patterns. <clears throat> and uh it, both both patterns make them pretty easy to take down. Now, there's a lighthouse up there, and you may notice a derelict ship over there. That's why it's called Dead Coast, because apparently this used to be a coast. I'm not sure where it's supposed to be, but yeah, we got we got uh, desert ships all over the place here. Sam, there's no way you're getting through that on your own. If you had backup, did I ask? Got it. Moving on. I don't have any intention of trying to get through that. The thing is, if you're playing co-op, there are some shortcuts you can use like that if you do them together. And, uh,. I sometimes get within range to trigger something about the co-op. Yeah. These guys and their dirt. I just don't know. <clears throat> but it sure makes them vulnerable. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, I don't need to go through there. I can go through here. So... There are two guys in this lighthouse, one on the roof and one who comes over here and stands in the doorway and then wanders up to the next floor, which he's doing right now. And so taking him out is as easy as hiding here and wait, waiting for him to come back. So we'll do that now while I take another bite of pizza. <laughs> well, when you do what I do, this is a working lunch. So, all right. Now, I have discovered there's only certain places I can hide because. This guy looks all over the place. And if, if I'm not hidden in the right place right here, he will also stop at that railing and see me from there, even though I'm in the shadows. I have a feeling he sees the big green light on my back, but that's just me. Right now he's standing right up there. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what... The sonar goggles look like when they're jammed. The jammer guy is up there on the ship. 
we will deal with him in due course. All right, let's go get the guy on the roof. There's multiple ways to get to the roof, but this is the way I like to go. Because Sam's a pipe climber, let's be honest. Zonk! All right. Now, from certain spots in this lighthouse, I can survey the situation and see where everybody is. Sniper guy there never moves. We got two guys down there in the yard who kind of wander back and forth. And one of them is the high value target. So, and the laptop is also up there in the wheelhouse of that ship. So, there are the two guys I was talking about. High value target and his pal. Now, there's another guy who goes up and down off the ship over here. And I don't see him. But he also goes underneath the ship. And under the ship is where this area's heavy duty hangs out. So, yeah, I got my work cut out for me, but it is quite enjoyable, even when Sam overshoots his pipe, so. Okay. Oh, there he is. All right. There's a drone right there. There's a drone operator right there. And now he's down there all right yeah the introduction of those guys I I wasn't crazy about it there's a security camera right there guarding this laptop but they didn't realize that Sam is a human fly so there's that and that just leaves the high-value target whom I have to take down anyway because I'm taking down everybody. He's going to make it easy for me at some point because he'll come up right underneath here. And I should be able to pounce on him. But if I don't feel like waiting here all that time. I can always go chase heavy duty. Because under here there are so many ways and places to knock him out. It's almost silly. But now, I have to be careful. I have to make sure I take down that other guy before I take down the high value target. Because if I don't, the game won't give me any opportunity to bag and tag him, and I won't get credit for him. Oh, 
and then it'll. Right. Okay, what did I just say? And then I turned around and did it wrong anyway. <sighs> well. On the other hand, I could be mistaken. That must have been an upgrade or improvement of some kind, because last time I tried to do that, it didn't give me credit for it. All right, there's my gold medal. So, 21 stealth knockouts. Heh, <laughs> whoopee. That means at some point I knocked out two at once. We got nothing for Panther, of course. And nothing for Assault. Uh, yeah. 15 reinforcements. Uh-uh. Now, watch this. 3,000 for that. Two areas cleared without reinforcements. My goal is in some mission. One of those missions... My goal is to break 10,000 bonus points. So that was one of my favorite side missions. Next time we'll do the other one, which is the Billionaire's Yacht. And uh, there's quite a story behind both of those missions that I will tell you then. Until then, I'm Irving, and thank you for watching.